Want the best how-to advice for decorating apparel? The Stalls TV YouTube channel is on air 24-7. All you need to do is subscribe and click the notification bell to get more videos like this. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Kelly Walters and today we are going over one of the most heavily talked about topics in apparel right now. That is fleece, that is sweatshirts, whether it's crewnecks, whether it's zip ups, we're gonna discuss it and today we're gonna go over five very popular styles right now. So I can tell you these garments were actually sponsored by SNS Activewear. So thank you so much for sending us these very, very popular styles. Now, as you also notice, there's kind of a color trend. It's mauve, it's blush, it's very hot pink. And one of those to keep in mind is mauve and nude tones. They are very popular as well as a couple of colors that also pop. The other thing is it's October, it's breast cancer awareness, so why not tie everything in together? Now, as you can see, I have a little bit of a mess over here, but I am going to go ahead and apply logos to one of the garments. The others are already decorated. I have cut and weeded these. Obviously, they've already been designed, so I will show you how to apply those later. Okay, so let's go over the first sweatshirt. The first one we have is this independent, mid, it's independent company, and, um, excuse me, independent trading company. And it is a mid-weight tie-dye sweatshirt. Now, with every garment that we are gonna go down, I'm also going to tell you the style number, that way you can head on over to SNS Activewear and go ahead and grab this garment and start playing with it. So the code for this is PRM, 4500T as in Tom, D as in dog. Now, I wanna to talk to you just a minute on how we decorated this, plus I wanna tell you some really cool features about this sweatshirt. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off of the hanger just because it helps me show. Now, this is obviously more of a brighter pink. It is tie-dye. But you guys, the weight of this is very, very nice and it is very, very soft. Um, with this being Independent Trading Co., um, I'm going to say it feels very similar to some of the Bella Canvas fleece, um, especially those premium products. But the thickness on this is something that I would find personally at a Lulu or an Athleta. This is a very, very nice sweatshirt. So if you're going through those catalogs and you just really don't know what the quality, you can see that the ounce of you know the sweatshirt is maybe higher, but you're not sure if it's gonna be a really, really soft hand or if it's going to be a little bit more rigid. Hopefully this video is going to help you out. So the way I chose to decorate this was just by one color. We have enough going on with the tie dye. So in this case, I chose our CAD Cut Flock 2. Now, if you're just tuning in with us for the first time and you're like, what the heck is CAD Cut? You guys, that's our heat transfer vinyl. That's what we call our products of heat transfer. So um, we've got CAD Cut for solid roll materials and we have CAD Color for our printable media. So this is CAD Cut Flock 2. One of the reasons why I absolutely love Flock is because it kind of has this velvety texture and hand to it. I'm gonna get it just a little bit closer, but you can't see it up close and personal, but the black, it almost looks like a crushed velvet. And I thought that was very cool adding on to the tie-dye effect, but it's still allowing the logo to pop. Now, I wanna talk about a couple of placements to keep in mind for sweatshirts. Here we have more of a center or full front because we're placing it right above the pocket. And then I'm also utilizing the, the hand pocket. Now, I took this same logo and I added one more location on the back, but instead of doing the hood or the middle of the back, I chose the right shoulder. I enlarged it, and then of course I put it at a slight angle. This would also be very cool if you were to do some type of scratch marks or just let your mind run free. So again, this is the Independent Trading Co. It is, um, you know, tie-dye. Here's another really cool feature. If you have your, you know, your hoodie out and you're not wearing it, 
this is going to just fade in as one. So you could actually use this as another decorating location. It's going to be unique. It's going to be a little different. Maybe don't put glitter flakes since it's gonna go on the head, but keep it soft, keep it comfortable, keep it easy. And um, of course, don't be afraid to kind of let your inspiration kind of go with this one. Alrighty, the next, the next item that we have is another independent trading, um, trading company. Now, this is a unisex fit, this is a women's fit. I've actually decorated on this garment in one of our Facebook Lives before. I love it, it's buttery soft, it's very, very lightweight. And to me, this is something I would lounge in all day long and, and probably never change out of it. So keep in mind, this is a little bit heavier. It's colder days. I'm gonna throw on this and head out the door. This is something I would probably live in um, from morning to night. Now, okay, this is the lightweight California wave wash um, V-neck. It does have the, the drawstrings right here, hooded sweatshirt. Its number is P as in Paul, R M as in Mary, 2500. Now, um, as you can see, I've actually chosen to use our CAD cut chroma here. What I did was just simply cut out a bunch of stars and then I just randomly placed them on the sweatshirt itself. I wanted more of a retail, um, a retail vibe to this. I didn't wanna put a logo on it. Very easy to do. You can make this work for numerous different markets and, and different channels, but in this case, I wanted it to be a little bit more unique. This chroma is absolutely beautiful and it picks up different tones and shades as you, you know, you move it in the light. And with how muted this sweatshirt is, I kind of wanted, you know, our CAD cut chroma to be the star in the <laughs> No pun intended, the star of this sweatshirt. My goodness, you guys. <laughs> Okay, next up, we have the another independent trading company. This is our um, crisscross grain. Sorry, I have notes on the back of the hanger and I thought I left off a word, but I didn't. So this is the crisscross grain premium heavyweight. So out of all of the garments you see right here, this is heavy duty. It's heavy it has texture to it it's not as plush and soft as the others however it is very very soft um, on the inside it's just the outside is is it's more durable so if maybe you are in that industrial kind of um, path or maybe you're just looking for some heavier garments maybe you have colder months this is going to be the perfect sweat short sweat shirt so Coat time. It is I N D uh, P or P I N D five thousand P as in Paul. Again, uh, that's I N D D as in dog five thousand Paul. Now, this is one of the garments that I really wanted to make sure that we decorated for breast cancer awareness. Um, as you can see, I have chosen to use our handy dandy tried and true CAD cut glitter flake. That's the word that is fighter. And then I have chosen to use our new CAD cut soft foam, which is absolutely amazing to work with. It has such a, a really cool feel to it. And that's the white. So. What I've done in this is make sure we've incorporated texture and I've make sure, made sure that we've incorporated dimension. Um, with the texture, you could always have just glitter flake and create texture, but you can create dimension by using multiple different products in one single logo. In this case, I've used two, but then I'm also utilizing the sweatshirt as a third to make sure we get our raised effect with the, with the ribbon and of course the fighter. Now, again, I'm gonna get a little bit closer here. 
You guys, this is just so, so smooth and soft. Um, think foam sheets that you would find at Hobby Lobby or Michaels in that crafters area. But in this case, we get to cut it, we get to heat apply it, and it still only applies at 300 degrees. So you're not having to increase your temperature to get something very unique. Okay. Next up, one that I find is very fun and something that is extremely popular right now, not only along with, um, you know, crews and sweatshirts and fleece, it is patches. Patches are everywhere and especially for that streetwear style market, it's just putting patches anywhere you want to free handed. There's no rhyme or rhythm. So, in this item, this is another independent trading company. It is the Lightweight Crop Windbreaker. Now, this is 100% poly, you guys. So most of our materials are going to work with it. And the item number is E, X, P as in Paul, 64 C, R, P, as in Paul. Now, I really wanted to kind of play off of this blush tone. Now I'm gonna give you a couple of other ideas for this garment and to tell you how to turn it into a breast cancer awareness type of garment without it being um, just a, a, an in your face graphic. All right, you guys, if you have played with our CAD cut fashion film metallic products, just know the CAD cut metallic and the CAD cut fashion film metallics, the foils, they're completely, the, they're two different products, okay? This CAD Cut Metallic is one within itself and there is um, more than a handful of colors that you can choose and pick from. This is our rose gold and then I have used our CAD Prince Permatwill um, logo to create kind of like patch-like decorations. Now, I don't have to use embroidery on this. I don't have to puncture the windbreaker garment. This is all heat applied. So, to give you a little bit of inspiration to change it up for breast cancer awareness, make it a pink ribbon. Um, make it a boxing glove for a fighter. Um, you could use the word BCS. You could use um, a couple of tatas in the, you know, the logo itself because I know that that is something that I've seen on graphic tees or save the tatas because you know what? That phrase is definitely out there and it's extremely popular. So be open to what you wanna put on the left chest side. Now I did go ahead and do a split front, so when that zipper is pulled down, that there is no logo in the way and the zipper is still fully functional. Now, um, there is a little bit of lining, mesh lining here. There is a front pocket. There is also a drawstring on each side. So have fun with this. It's a crop, get stylish. Crops are not going anywhere somehow learn to embrace them if that is something that's a little foreign to you but don't be afraid to kind of decorate it outside the norm of course you could put a left chest logo here for um you know any type of corporate that wanted crops or maybe it's a, a fitness facility and you could also decorate the pocket as another location don't forget the hood and don't forget the sleeve all right so this is the garment we're going to be decorating and this is a Bella canvas. It's a unisex sponge fleece. Like I said earlier, this almost feels like the sponge fleece, but they're just a little different. Um, now this is the full zip. This is the color mauve and the style is 3739. Now I love that this is a um, white with a silver zipper. To me, it just gives a little more contrast, a little more edge to the garment versus trying to make this white match up to this mauve tone. As you can see, there is nothing on the back. We are going to be decorating it. So how are we going to decorate this? Let's, let's show you. All right. One product I talked about earlier was our CAD Cut Soft Foam. I'm loving the product. It works well by um, creating the dimension. It has a very, very soft hand. And especially when it comes to fleece, sometimes, especially like this, the garment itself is already heavy enough 
And um, unless that is a preferred customer decoration method, I don't necessarily want my sweatshirt or my hoodie or my crew to be any heavier because of the logo that is on the front. That's just my preference though, so hopefully I can pass some suggestions along to you and you can make this work in your business. Now, the logo we are going to be doing today is, it says good vibes only. Now, can you make this work for breast cancer awareness? You sure can. Change the colors and throw a ribbon on the left chest and then you kind of targeted that market with also providing some words of encouragement and positivity. So what we're going to do is actually apply our fashion film opal first, which again, you guys hear me, if, if you follow our Facebook page um, you, and, you, and you attend our lives or attend our lives here on, you know, on YouTube, then you will hear me say, oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite products. Well, I have a lot of favorite products and a lot of different uses for them. So in today's world and <laughs> today's time today, the fashion film Opal is one of my favorite products. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, fashion film has a very soft, soft hand. It's matte, but this color particularly, it just, again, it picks up light and it's a little unique. Of course it's white, it's simple, but having that opal tone and that opal effect to it, it just, it just adds another little pop. And to me, that's what enhances a product and creates a little bit higher value. If a customer can go, that's a really cool, that's a really cool, you know, finish or material, then that's a win-win in my book. Okay. So what I'm going to show you next is I know I didn't cut and weed these. I didn't show you how to go through the process, but I am going to show you how I line it up on a garment. So what I'm going to do is just move my cover sheet. What I'm going to do first is actually apply, apply our fashion film first. Um, and then we are going to go over with the foam. Now you can't layer on top of foam and I have created gaps in my artwork so that this lays perfectly on top and then same thing. Since we can't layer it, you know, fashion film on top, I need to make sure that the there's gaps in this. So what I'm going to do first is just lay my artwork down and then to make sure that it matches up, I am going to lay this on top and just make sure I have got it as you know, um, centered as possible. That way when I go and put this on my garment, it's going to look as if it's one image and then I'll already know the middle point. Now, the reason why I find this important is because I'm going to be wider with the foam than I am with the fashion film. And I just want to make sure that it is centered, you know, as best as possible. I'm going to fold it in half matching up the, the farthest points just to make sure I can get my median and let's apply this. Now fashion film does apply at 320 degree, 320 degrees because um, I am doing this for video purposes and our foam applies at 300. I've got my press set at 305. We will be hitting our fashion film twice because we're going to tack it down and then we are going to come in with the foam and complete the press. Now, if you were doing this in production environment, make sure your fashion film is applied at the correct temperature of 320. I am going to open our garment just like this. I'm using a CAD cut or a CAD cut. Ha, ah, this is a heat press, you guys. I'm using a hot Tronics auto clam. It is a 16 by 20 unit and I do have it on a stand. So I'm just going to thread my sweatshirt all the way down. I want to make sure that I have got the seams all, or excuse me, the shoulder seams all the way to the press because I want to make sure that I have this in the center as best as possible. Now, a little cheat system is we do have this hood that has a seam, but I still want to make sure that the shoulder seams are the same as well. Okay. 
pull this out just to make sure that we are center as possible. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my cover sheet over on top. We're gonna just quickly pre-press. Let's make sure I've got my time set correctly. I'm gonna pre-press for five seconds, and then I'm gonna come in with a fashion film um, for 10 seconds. Now, fashion film, I am double checking 15 seconds, sorry, I have a cheat sheet right here and I just wanted to make sure. I was pretty sure it was 15 seconds, but because I said we are already at a lower, come on, well, already, because we are already at a lower time for fashion film, I just wanna make sure I've got it on there for a little bit longer. Adjusting my pressure, gonna go ahead and pre-press. This is gonna pop up. Test my pressure just one more time, you guys. Um, excuse the pull. <laughs> All right, let's get this applied. So like I said, we're gonna take our completely, you know, attached logo. I'm just gonna lay it down on the front, get it where I want on the back of the sweatshirt. I'm smoothing it down because what I want to do is just be able to pull that foam right off. Okay, next, our cover sheet goes back on top. Now this is a hot peel, so we will be able to peel that and our foam is going to be a warm peel. Now I'm pull it peeling just a little bit more gently just because like I've said over and over, we're applying at a lower temperature and um, just wanna make sure everything is adhered correctly. All right, you guys, our final step is to go ahead and put our foam on top. All righty. Now we're gonna come in for our foam and just finish that press. All right, now one thing that we keep talking about is muted colors are very much in trend. One of the reasons why I chose to go with this camel color is because it falls along that muted, almost tonal look. Um, I absolutely love the tonal effect, whether you're using tone on tone or you are using a couple of different shades, lighter or darker. Um, it's a really good way to create a, a little bit more dimension again without adding texture and depth. Now, one thing um, I also love about foam, you guys, is it is so easy to peel off of the garment. All right, so here is our final product. You can see that it says good vibes only. And we not only have a matte, but we also have um, a little bit of a sheen on that opal. And then we've also created dimension. You've got the fuzziness of the garment. You have that very soft, buttery smooth hand of the CAD Cut Soft Foam. And then like I said, that, that sheen of the opal. All right, you guys, this is our fifth and final um, sweatshirt fleece highlight. So I hope that um, these garments have given you some inspiration to move forward in the month of October and of course the upcoming months. And more than anything, I hope this has led some um, insight into different types of crew necks and fleece and um, you know sweatshirts that you can, you can move forward with in your business. Again, I'm Kelly Walters and thanks so much for watching.